Good afternoon and welcome back to Planecraft. I'm Natalie and we're going to be finishing off putting the cards together from this morning. So next we did a layered print and cut design. So I've put my print there already down on my mat and we're going to be doing a bit of foiling direct onto our paint. So rather than swapping over and getting ready to show you canvas, I'm going to stick down my foil. So to do that we're just going to use a bit of masking tape. Now, because my card's a bit thinner, I'm going to go for a low tack masking tape. So, this is the one by Stix2. Okay. So, I'm going to pull that top. So the flatter we can keep our foil, the better your finish is going to be. Okay. And then it's going to attach it to that side, give it a little pull so it's nice and flat. And then we're going to stick our tape down. And over to you, Ian. Over to me. So, good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon. Uh, this is our little design. I can't see coming because I've left my phone over there. That's useful. Yeah. <laughs> Colour is a donut. <laughs> so, this is the design we're going to use. What layer would you want first, then? Foil onto print or the foil onto layer? Foil onto print and the registration. So leave registration on. And the print cut. So turn the foil onto layer off. Leave the foil onto layer colour too. That, you're doing that off too? Yeah. yeah. Print to cut on, turn that one off, turn that one off. Yeah. So that's what you want. And you want to make sure your registration marks are set. They are, they're on. They're there. Okay. You probably want to make sure they're set to cut for this one. Uh, yeah. Cool. I was good, wasn't I? Okay. Uh, do you so want me to change your foil to a print layer to draw the rounds and to cut? Yeah, that'd be useful. That's a good job by checking these things, <laughs> isn't it? Eh? So I'm going to go for the. So I go bold. Or should I go yeah, standard? So I'm going to send that across to Matty. What are you going for? I'm going for the standard. Standard? Yeah. I'm going to put those up there. Do you want me to transfer it back to your screen? Yes, please. Okay. So, so I have my adapter already attached. Because it's stuck. Because it's stuck. And I'm just going to pop that into my power supply. Here you're going to see it automatically powers up. So while that's heating. Oh, cool, blimey. Carol, someone in Lily's bibble or bubble, as it should be, at school has been tested positive, so she's in isolation for two weeks. Luckily, she comes out on the twenty third. Oh, that's that's just not. <laughs> well, we go back to school then. Yeah. I'd say that's a result. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here, can I just have your hand a second? I just need to load the mat. Yeah. Ready? Uh huh. Uh, and you have Beatrice, Deb, uh, Dalcy and Linda. Afternoon all. Okay. Let's see if anybody's on. So, don't trip over the cables. I'm going to bring that back down off the internet and there's our card. And we're going to do a background scan. So, 
that was close, wasn't it? Okay, so we can see that our blue area is quite clearly within our foil, it's not overlapping our tape. And we can see our cut area and we just want to check our registration marks. So it looks like we're a little bit off. So if we go back to edit, we're going to select all, we're going to group it. Okay, we can then go into move and I'm going to move it down and across a bit. And there's a very slight amount that it needs to rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object edit. Then we're going to go up to this icon up here, which is our rotate one. So we've got a little arrow rotating the corner around. And I'm going to go one degree. Now in some cases, even just that one degree is going to be too much. So let's go back and have a look. So if we go into our position one, we're going to go to our magnifying glass. And we're going to zoom right in. <laughs> we're going to scroll across. And we can see how far we are at. So we're going to come down a bit. And across a bit. If we go down to the bottom. See look, it's just a little bit too much. So sometimes you can get away with using one degree, sometimes you can't. And I think this one is going to be one that you can't. So I'm going to go back the other way. Afternoon, Rachel. Back to our zoom. Because we've now undone that rotation, we want to... Oh, just check. Do you want to take it that far? No. Okay, so. Just one. Across. We need to go across a couple now that we've undone that rotation. You can go down to the bottom. And it's closer than what it was, so to be fair, I can probably go with that. Go OK. 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 And we're going to do our drawing first. So because we're using our foil curl, we can just use draw. And then we need to pop in our so let's see if we can zoom out enough that you can see that. Yep. That's not bad. So the little tab on the holder is going to go to the back. And you can always give it a little wiggle when it's in there. If you can't get that latch down, don't try and force it. Okay? Give it a wiggle until it's in that slot and it easily latches down. If it fights back, take it out, give it a wiggle. Mm -hmm. going to fight back today just because. There we go. Okay. So now we can go and set our settings. Draw speed you want to take it right down to one so it has the most amount of time to put that heat on the foil. And draw pressure I'm just going to pop that up to minus two. No. I use the standard in the end. Minus four. Okay. And off we go. <laughs> so 
you want to say what foil we're using. Okay, so the foil I'm using is our foil. So those of you that have ordered our foil packs, they are on their way in most cases. Are they not? Apart from one? Two. Two. That's like I'm waiting for a box for one. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, if they're sending the um, replacements, mm. <laughs> these things happen for a reason and all that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop my foil club back out of my machine and it's going to behave. It doesn't like this holder today, does it? Come on, wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. And hold that for you. Yeah. I haven't unplugged it yet. No, no, you so, have to keep it in your foot. Yeah. You can do some more. Yes, I'm going to do some more in a minute. So, let's peel it away. And we're going to have a look, see how it's looking. So, looking good. And if I... Tilt the camera so you can't see Tilt the camera, there you go. So you can see that's a little bit easier. Okay, so now we can go okay. Now we need to cut our layer, and it's only just a, a rectangle and a circle, so we can pop in just our normal blade. Now, remember, we've put our plate, blade pressure back up because we used the final blade before, so I'm going to take that down to minus nine. Yeah, and the speed can go back up a couple of notches. Okay, so before it does our registration marks, we can stop it cutting and we can say quit cutting. So, hopefully, it's all cut through. I'm thinking perhaps I should go a little bit bigger than the foil for the next bit. Let's we'll see, here we go. Okay. And I can always save this centerpiece for something else so that we have a nice decorative border. Okay. So next I need some coloured card. And I was going to go for something that was TV blue. The one you want is always the one at the bottom. <laughs> Let's go for that's not quite TV enough. <clears throat> thinking. Doesn't matter how many colours of card you have, you never have quite the right one. And 
Now I'm going to need the other layers. display so we can I can show you what we're sending so which bit do you want next um the um fall on to layer yeah go for that one first yeah and I need the layer cut Thank you. That's it. And um, turn the print off. Yeah. Uh, oh, needs yet. Yeah, set to draw. Cool. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. So command and E to export. Okay, because we know there's hidden bits and it's not going to send those. Send it across the machine and okay. That's back with you. Okay. So I'll hand you that back. Thank you, my dear. So, I'm going to bring that back in from the internet. Okay, so you can see that you can still see the scan that we've already done. If that's distracting you for the moment, you can turn it off. Okay. So next what I'm going to need to do, and this is going to be a bit of pin the tail on the donkey for this one. So we're looking at one two three squares are clear then we're appearing to fall on that fourth and it's clear by the time that we get to about the fifth so we're looking sort of in this area here so if i cover that like so and i'm just going to apply a bit of tape to that what so when you're working with masking tape you want to make sure it's stuck down well because we don't want it lifting and getting trapped in our machine so that's really not a good thing I'll just tilt the camera a little bit more because it's only showing the top of the bit of green okay there. Like so. It's probably a little bit too big for what we'd like ideally. That's better. Let's see how we go. Okay, so if we do a background scan. So we're well and truly clear. So we can go OK. Back to draw. Pop out the blade. Put the glue back in. And off it goes. So, afternoon Rachel, if you haven't already said afternoon. I did. You did? I did. So, any questions while we're waiting? So, tomorrow the plan is I'm going to be doing a canvas string. So, we're going to be looking at doing glue list gift boxes. And then in the afternoon I might do some work on text with you all. So, that we're going to be doing things like warping text and playing with text. Because that's one of the things that we get asked about most often.
Yes, I did say glueless boxes. So boxes that don't need any glue. take eight minutes so feel free to ask questions. I might do the other bit as just a drawing just to speed it up a bit. What are the colour we going to use? No, I was thinking I might use the Sharpie pen again because that draws nice and easy nice and quick doesn't it so mm -hmm. just thinking if that's going to take eight minutes to draw Good when you guys start moving stuff. Yeah. What did you do to it? Just moved. Very quiet out there. So, are there Jeez. any other questions non related that you'd like to ask? Or any videos that you'd like to request? I know we have a, a request for envelopes, so that's going to be coming up later this week. Okay, so the additional designs, do you want to flip over to Canva soon so you can show where they are? So the additional designs, when you go into your shapes, are uh, these ones here, so we've got a new one at the bottom here, it says Vino Auto Blade, and then all your patterns are tucked away in there for you to play with. So it's into your basic shapes at the side, and then it's the bottom Um, we're making Christmas cards. Uh, Tammy's just joined us. Tammy Clayton asking what uh, Yeah, so we've done a couple of printing cut projects today using Affinity Designers rather than the print and cut add on. It's back on you now, so it's back on you. Um, have you got the card from earlier in? I can have, give me two seconds. Okay. So we've already and cut our print there and here's one we made earlier. <laughs> Don't just think.
we've got about three minutes. Nearly there. So the foil that we're using, Tammy, is our foil. So we currently do five colours in it. So this is the white, which is a, like a matte pigment white. <laughs> And then we also do a gunmetal, a rose gold, silver and gold. Sally Ann's just joined us. Hi Sally Ann. So if you do want to request a video at any point, you can always put a request in the group. Call that a day for the foiling. We'll go and cool off. And let's do our reveal for our foiling. Let's move the camera again because it's kind of Okay, so we can see that. Mm. Well, it? it has done it well, there's not much more left on that. <laughs> Yeah, the white is my favourite too. So, Lynn, I'm just waiting for a box to be able to send your order out. Um, I've got your foil ready. I just don't have a box to put it in with your book, so I'm just waiting for a box to turn up. So, as soon as that is here, I shall get that shipped out to you. Okay, so I'm ready for the next bit then, Ian. Do you need to cut that out? You can send the cut file for the next bit, can't you? Okay. 
Okay, let me just change my screen. Because I had that one as well. But you don't need that one now. I still need the cut one, don't I? I don't even let it snow anymore. Okay, so we can turn off we'll let, it, let snow. it snow and turn on that one. Too. Yep. And leave that as it is. Yep. And then we can send that with Command and E. Press OK. And we send press OK. And back to Natty. Okay. So I can pull that back down off the internet having cleared my um map. So again, because we've still got our scan um, shown there, we can turn it off. Okay. And Ian, that's not set to draw. The easy way, to draw. easy way to tell is if it's set to draw, it'll be blue. Because in the desktop version of Canvas, you can only have it cut or draw. It can't be both. So it's a really good way of knowing if you set it correctly in your machine. Try it now. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So you want to see it nice and clear and blue. Okay. Don't see it's clean. Oh. Sorry. There we go. I'll go back a bit. So I'll go back. So you can see your cut lines in black. And you draw elements on blue. Okay. And our draw speed we can put up to five. Draw pressure down at four is okay. Mm -hmm. And let's go for that. To rearrange it. Hmm? Hmm? To move it so they can see it going. Mm -hmm. I do. So if you get to this point and you're thinking, okay, it actually doesn't need to fill, then you can always just stop it when it finishes doing all the swirls. It's a wider pen, you don't always need to use the fill setting. Sometimes it is. When it's working on something detailed, it's perfectly enough on its own. So we have our little swirl. And we can take our pen back out of our holder. Put the lid back on. Screw the cap back onto our holder to keep it safe. And I'm going to change over to my standard blade. You okay? Yeah, right, let's go. Because we're going to have a sneeze, please. So our pressure is still at minus nine, so we can just go and make it. Yeah. 
I just want to be sick tonight. <laughs> it's because we've been avoiding beforehand. Whoever you need to retack your mat, simple way to do it. It's only to pour a quill over the top. <laughs> and there we go. So you can see it up close and you can really see how lovely that white foil is. Okay. So I think that's it for that one, isn't it? So I can unload the mat. the background card. You've got another mat there, haven't you? Showed it as three. Yeah, I think the bottom one is just the actual card base because oh, okay. we designed it to go on the craft card. Seven by five, yeah. So that's it. I just need a seven by five card in here. Okay. Let me find somewhere to put some stuff down. Are you doing all right? I'm not even panicking. So how are you all doing with your Christmas projects? I'm going to go for some foam tape for this one. So the card that Natalie's using is a um, from Lime Tree Crafts. And it's a 5x7 craft card, an envelope set. And there are 280 GSM cards. And they're pre scored as well, so they're nice and easy to use. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some 3D PVA. And let's bring that up there a bit, that's a bit better. That's more like the view you used to. It really doesn't take a lot of this glue. But work glue just gives us that little bit of wiggle room so we can make sure we get everything level and centred. Three D this layer up. So I'm just going to take this little bit of tape off here. So if you're working with a design like this, what you can do is actually cut the same shape out of some craft foam. And that will make it much easier to send in the post. Really, it's time I uh, get some hard call my scissors. Okay. You're again, do we? Yeah. Caught blimey, that's organised. What's that? And Deb says he's all done for Christmas. Then he did cards and gift holder, gift card holders, no home decor. And now on two birthday cards for January and an anniversary card for February. Yeah, but we we struggled long and hard, didn't we, with what we were going to do for Christmas Day for video. Yeah. We're like, we obviously don't want to do Christmas, Christmas because it's Christmas Day and it'd be too late. <laughs> Unless you're going to make belated Christmas cards, but there really doesn't seem to be any point. Could have an Easter card ready for Christmas. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. 
I think the theme is more winter, isn't it, than Christmas? Yeah. And no, I didn't use pretty acoustic. <laughs> Nearly, but no. <laughs> so I'm just using a few dots of 3D PVA just to try and give me a little bit of wiggle room. Today, just because we've had a, a couple of things that we weren't expecting to turn up, haven't we? Well, not turn up, but come about. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to leave it there so that I can concentrate on filming. Um, I think to the last 20 of the same range as I'm trying to do a card. Okay. I have six images that will not scan. All I get is a dot in the middle of the page. I've cleaned the scanner and checked for debris. Any ideas? Okay, um, if you've checked around the outside of your stamped image to make sure that it's solid black all the way around the outside, then your next port of call is to check your contrast. So that's where you've got your little slider when you go to um, direct cut. Have and play with that. If that still doesn't work, Instead of using the machine to do the direct cut, use canvas and then you can take it into canvas itself and either let canvas trace it or you can trace it by hand depending on how simple it is. So, are we going to leave it there for today then Ian? Mm -hmm. okay. I'll be back at four for the DT. Um, do we just need to repeat who won the competition? Because you haven't put it up on the group yet, have you? We haven't put it up on the group yet, no. That's right, just no, we'll put it up on the group in okay. the So we'll put the competition winners and the winning entries up on the group shortly. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it's a really difficult decision as to which one we were going to go for. So take care. And we will see you back here tomorrow at 11 when I will be doing clueless boxes and Ian will be doing who knows what where. <laughs> so take care. Bye.